Hey YouTubians, it's Saffron Snape in response to Zanita Jones' video on Cindy McCain's stance on gay youth harassment and the don't ask, don't tell policy. Um, first of all, I have to say that Zanita Jones is awesome. V um, can hold herself very well and uh, V speaks with um, so much emphasis. It's not really emphasis. It's it's really finesse that it just makes people want to listen. But anyways, in response, um, I feel like V had a good point about what Cindy McCain had said, and I honestly have to wonder what she was thinking when she said it and then when she tweeted that like honestly didn't she realize that that's gonna bring so much hatred to her she just alienated a huge huge chunk of the pop population along with alienating all those supporters of that population and it's just like she she's a complete moron. She just she she should have it written down what she's gonna say and what she's gonna tweet and she needs to look at it and read it and then have her husband read it and then read it again and then have like a professional speech writer person read it before she reads it out loud and then tweets it. Cause otherwise she's just a complete moron. Which she is acting like. Um the other part of it was that the don't ask, don't tell policy is more than just gay harassment. It's the United States is completely idiotic for it. Like, I'm actually one of those people who was really affected by it because when I came out, I had been thinking about going into the military and about two months after I came out to my friends, I realized holy shit, I can't join the military. Because at that point, I had a girlfriend. And if I had had that girlfriend joining into the military, I would have committed fraud. Because I can't join the military because the don't ask, don't tell policy basically says gays aren't allowed in the military unless we don't know you're gay. And it's just like, I'm sure I'm not the only person. And how dare they think that's a good idea and then complain that they don't have enough people. Well, if you don't have enough people, revoke the fucking law. And then we can talk.